Another incredible day in Mumbai. Sachin Tendulkar's test career. We may, may have finally seen the last of him as a batsman. 74 he made today here in Mumbai. India in a dominant position in the test match. He is possibly the greatest batsman of our generation. I'm delighted to say possibly the greatest bowler of our generation. Shane Warne joins us. Shane, extraordinary couple of days of cricket. What have you made of it all? Yeah, it's been fantastic, hasn't it? I mean, it's been unbelievable. The noise at the ground, the atmosphere, the, the thank you, Satch, and stuff that's been happening. And uh, for the little master to go out and bat the way he did today, it was sort of like winding the clock back and watching him bat all those terrible years ago when he used to smash us all over the park. But it was fantastic for him today. I think everybody, even the West Indies, wanted him to get 100. But uh, I thought he was superb today. The, India was superb too. But uh, I think the little master, we're all going to miss him. It, just watching him play today was fantastic. You know the man. What do you think he'd be feeling? You know, when you retired as well, what feelings do you go through? Because it's probably unlikely he'll bat again. If he bats again, well, it's going to be a good test match. I don't think he's going to bat again. But uh, I, I think when you go back to that, I think it was the way he played was mo mainly through relief too. All the pressure was off. There was no... It doesn't matter if he made runs or not because it was his last test match and we're always going to remember Sachin for being fantastic. This was just to celebrate the occasion and celebrate the man for being so good and what he's given to the game of cricket, especially here in India. So um, I think he'll be sitting back pretty proud and pretty happy and pretty relaxed, I think. He's been pretty relaxed. I had a good chat with him this morning. Uh, we've been speaking a bit on the phone. So I, I think he'll be pretty relieved and uh, I think he'll be feeling pretty happy too that he got 70-odd today. What do you make of the atmosphere? Because it was mm. something unique. Yeah, what people that haven't been to this part of the world and, and understand uh, what it's like, the passion of the Indian fans, they're as good as... They're, they just absolutely love the cricket. You've got to remember there's a billion people here and they all love cricket. And their passion for it, you can see it in the pictures that people back there in England are watching. That You could hear the noise. You could, you know, we're standing this far apart, you couldn't hear yourself think. It was... Uh, it was a pretty amazing atmosphere and something pretty special to be here to say, I was here to see Satch in his last innings. Now, Shane, I think you're being a bit modest. You said he smashed you all over the park, but what's your kind of abiding memory of him? You know, how did you bowl to him? Well, you know, most of the time he did smash me all over the park. I think I got him out a couple of times, I don't know how many, but I think the one thing that I remember about Sachin, I mean, we've known each other for the best part of 25 years. We've played against each other for 20 odd years and to take away from the cricket, he's a very humble and very softly spoken guy. We've spent a lot of times over dinner, listening to music, talking cars and been to his house for dinners and all those things. And uh, it's our, the friendship for me personally is the friendship and the respect that we have for each other. I think that's what I'll take away from Sachin and we're going to be friends for a long time. Um, from the cricketer Sachin, I mean, he was the best batsman that I ever played for in my 25 years of being around international and first class cricket. He was easily the best and I just think when you put everything why he was the best into the mix, yes, take his skill and his numbers and all that sort of stuff is wonderful, but the way he did it. And that's what you get with the great players. You won't ever have... Someone might get the same numbers and they might be, you know, whether it be a Virat Kohli or one of those guys, these young Indian players, but to do it the way Sachin did it, with the expectation of everyone, the way he handled himself on and off the field, um, I think he's just a real credit to the game of cricket, a real credit to himself and especially to India. So I think everyone worldwide is going to miss him. Um, I don't think the bowlers will miss him too much, but I think the game of cricket will miss him. And, um, you know, hopefully we're going to sit back and listen to some music and drive around in some cars for a while. Great stuff, Shane. Thanks so much for joining Thank us you. here today as well. Thank you. As you say, that's probably it for Sachin Tendulkar. As Shane said there, probably very, very unlikely that uh, Sachin Tendulkar will bat again in this test, test match with India in such a dominant position. But uh, they still have a little bit of work to do. Eight West Indies wickets uh, to get. West Indies have got to get another 270 run. Another fantastic day of cricket in Mumbai.